A few months ago, I found myself walking around the video section at the Goodwill. While there, I stumbled across a handful of animated movies, and they all looked pretty bad. But this gave me an idea. What if every so often, I reviewed a random movie from the Goodwill? It'd be a fun way to mix things up and add a level of mystery to my reviews. It could be something good, something weird, or something bad. So I decided to move forward with this idea and check out this movie. Alibaba and the Gold Raiders. <sighs> Guess which category this one falls into. The main reason why I was drawn to Alibaba was the box art. Something about it just stood out to me. Perhaps it was the guy and his I'm so done with this face. Or maybe it was a broken spine and torso of the girl. Or maybe it was the setting of not Agrabah. But the back of the box tells a different story. Oh my God. Guys, we got clickbaited. It looks nothing like the cover. Also, the description straight up lies. It says that the brother in the movie was kidnapped and then returned home. But I watched the movie and he dies. He, he never goes home. Well, I guess to be fair, he does go home. He's just uh, uh, been chopped up. We'll, we'll get to that later though. But out of all of the movies I've checked out here on my channel, this one is the most inconsistent with its animation and characters. They never look the same. In one scene, they have massive hands. And then the next, tiny hands. It's all over the place. But our neighbors are still poor. We should take care of them as well. They're kind people. We'll be the richest village anywhere in the world. All right, so who's responsible for the movie? Well, the director of the film is a guy named Godfrey Ho. He's been involved in the Chinese movie industry for decades and is called the Ed Wood of Hong Kong cinema. That actually explains a lot. He's directed over 100 films, with the majority of them being low-budget action B-movies. <laughs> Robo-vampire? Oh, come on, dude. But for whatever reason, Godfrey decided to work on an animated movie in 2002. Funny enough, it was also the last thing he ever worked on. Don't worry, folks, he's not dead. But his career is. The studio that worked on Alibaba was Bening, Bening, uh, God, I suck, Bening Studio. And this movie was the only thing they made. I tried to find out who wrote the script for the movie, but I couldn't find anything. Which, really, I wouldn't even be surprised if there wasn't a writer. Actually, that kind of explains why this movie is all over the place, with its characters, story, and dialogue. My ancestors above, won't you forgive my carelessness? So yeah, a bunch of hack frauds made Alibaba and the Gold Raiders. But I'm not sure what their angle was. Were they trying to rip off Aladdin? Because if so, they're about 10 years too late. But they did steal a song from the movie, so maybe? Okay, so the movie starts off in a very strange way, with the preview of the movie. Alibaba and the Gold Raiders. Could you imagine if this actually happened in, like, Endgame? Oh, uh, I, I, that's how that character does that. Cool. Thanks, movie. Guess we don't need to watch it now. Okay, so the movie actually starts, and a few things jump out to me. First off, uh, there's a watermark on the screen. I guess we don't want any pirates stealing this precious work now, would we? Next, the animation. Oh. My. God. It, it just slaps you in the face. The colors are bland, the animation is wonky and inconsistent, and the pacing is terrible. The movie holds on to certain shots for way too long. Like, when I first watched this, I was wondering if the film was broken. Well, we're 
Greedy. So this is Alibaba. I want to call him the main character, since the movie's named after him, but, but he's really not in the film that much. While he's in the desert, for whatever reason, he comes across this 3D rendered cave and discovers a bunch of gold. Gold that belongs to a band of thieves. Thor, I command you, Alakazar, open sesame! So another thing that this movie is very guilty of is self-narration. There is constant monologuing. The characters will just talk out loud and tell the audience what they think and feel. It's like a shitty version of Mojo Jojo and Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. German science is the finest in the world! So Alibaba steals some of the gold and takes it back with him to his very talkative wife. Just listen to her go on and on and on. Alibaba's gone hunting and I'm all alone. Yes, that's right. Let's cook something delicious for him. Life's not easy these days. A good husband deserves a big surprise when he comes back home. Oh, what shall I do for him? Hmm, maybe a big hug will be nice. <laughs> oh, I wonder what's keeping him. He's been gone for hours. Uh, these characters move like they're having a seizure. They spaz out all over the place, with their character models constantly shifting. I ran into people in the desert. I watched them open a cave. You know, there's countless treasure inside the cave. I took a little, this much, and now we're millionaires. So Alibaba and his wife are excited about being rich, but also talk about helping out the people in their neighborhood. And something about a magic measuring bowl? <laughs> I really don't know. The dialogue in this film is insanely clunky, and the people who dubbed this were very much so acting. So we meet Alibaba's brother and his sister-in-law, and watch them get drunk. But darling, too much liquor will hurt your stomach, don't you know that? Oh, but that's a hard habit to break. I won't get drunk, all right, honey? Also, the characters talk over each other all the time. Cotton? Cotton? Rice? No, of course not cotton. Rice? Flour? Flour? Candy? Water? Candies, cereal? cereal? Fish? What? Snakes? Oh. Gold coins. <laughs> so what if I told you a measure in gold coins here? Would you believe me then? <laughs> That's the funniest joke I've ever heard. I'll help you. You're so poor. So there's this entire thing about this magic bowl. And for some reason, the brother freaks out about it. Uh, something about how the bowl will lose its effect if it's used too much? Uh, really, I have no idea. Alabama's no businessman or trader. Did, did, did my dude just say Alabama? Yeah, his name's Alabama for now on. Alabama. So Alibaba's brother finds out about the Cave of Wonders. Mm. Oh, uh, trademark. <laughs> oh, my bad. Uh, the Cave of Treasure. And he runs off to go get some himself. And here's the best part. The dumbass goes into the cave with a secret password finds the gold, and then he forgets the password to get out. But I just forgot the magic words. How can I open the door without the magic words? And this was a part of the movie that completely caught me off guard. Check it. What's the magic word? It's not working. Akaba Dakaba. Aragba. Osama Bin Laden. Hold up. Never before has anything ever made me stop. Like, legitimately, I stopped. I had to do a double take. There's, there's no way he said Osama bin Laden, right? This is a kid's movie, right? Why is he mentioning a terrorist, right? Osama bin Laden. Yeah, there it is. Osama bin Laden. Just yeah, in a kid's movie, just say it. Osama bin Laden. Saddam Hussein. Adolf Hitler. Whatever. Just throw out some names, because that's just the movie we're in. Holy fuck. This movie's bad. So the brother's in the cave, and he gets cornered by the thieves. He begs for his life, and then, from what I can tell, he gets killed. Honestly, serves the greedy bastard right. Forgive me, please. Oh, forgive me. I'm just lost. We then cut back to Alibaba and his sister-in-law. The sister-in-law is like, oh no, my husband's missing. And Alibaba is like, I'll go check it out. Then he takes the next few months traveling in slow motion with a slow ass donkey, gets to the cave, comes back home, and I guess he brought back the body of his brother. 
We then cut back to the Cave of Wonders, <coughs> Cave of Treasures, and we see the criminals talking about how someone got into their hideout. But how could he break into our place? How does he know any magic? You think he did it? <laughs> Ow. He must be someone from the outside, boss. Maybe Shaman showed him away. Could have happened, you know? <laughs> oh my god. These designs are terrible. None of them look consistent. They look as if they belong in different properties. Also, th th this one guy's wearing a Batman shirt. Th what? And this guy's wearing a bomber jacket and smoking a cigarette. Uh, how can we catch him? We don't know who the hell he is. No, seriously, I don't understand. What the hell is going on? So these idiots go on for a few minutes, asking each other who could have possibly entered the hideout. That's the problem, boss. We just don't know who he is. I'm confused. Oh, you're confused? Yeah, uh, tell me about it. That should be the name of the entire movie. I'm confused. We then meet this large British guy who looks like he belongs in a punk rock concert and, and walks like he just shit his pants. It's the most desperate time in my whole life. Like I've already said, this movie is insanely inconsistent. And not just with the animation. The characters have uncanny movement, their faces change from scene to scene, and then you have characters who look like they belong in different time periods. So this goon goes to the shoemaker to get his shoe fixed, because that's where we are with this movie. I'm going crazy making shoes day in and day out, and I'll retire and live my life in the village. I'm tired of this shoemaking. I, I legitimately thought he was going to say shit. I'm tired of this shit. So the shoemaker squeals about Alibaba and how he's rich, and then shows the goon where he lives. Time for another I just shit my pants walk cycle. The goon then marks the house with an X. Alibaba's wife sees them messing around. Hmm, oh dear, they've even found our house and put a cross on our back door. This is really bad. Wait, rad? Did she just say rad? This is really bad. Yeah, it's, uh, this is rad. <laughs> Sweet dude, the mafia just found out where I live. That's so rad. Yeah, she probably meant bad, but I heard rad. So that's canon now. <laughs> And there it is. I was truly wondering if this was going to happen. A very recognizable Disney song. Now, you know what? Shame on you, Alibaba. Uh, stealing is downright disgraceful. And <laughs> hilarious, as a matter of fact. So Alibaba's wife comes up with an idea to trap the bad guys. How so? By putting an X on her neighbor's home. Way to throw them under the bus. So all the idiots show up to get Alibaba, and they can't find his house. For the next few minutes, it just shows all of the goons acting frustrated and confused. But it doesn't matter. Cause the boss shows up in disguise and goes into Alibaba's house. Oh, welcome, trader of Zatoon oil. Oh yes, he wants to stay in our place tonight, Ali. So yeah, they they found his home regardless. So what was the point of that scene? God, this whole movie is pointless. The crime boss then tells his goons that the secret word to attack Alibaba is Zaitun. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Zaitun. What's the secret attack code? Zaitun. What a time for attack. At dinner, dinner time, time, dinner, dinner time. time. Anyway, why we picked the name Zaitun? Because we're hiding in large ceramic, ceramic containers full of Zaitun oil. oil. So, so we use it as our secret code. So blah, 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 blah. Bunch of stupid dialogue. Blah, 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 some long-winded joke about Zaitun, and them saying it over and over and over, and then blah, 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 something about this girl stripping for the crime boss. Yes, this happens. Oh, my dancer. My 
a dancer. Will you turn real? I can feel your stomach moving. In fact, I'm the king of raiders. I'm no traitor, Zatoon's oil. Ah, you like? What is this? I got you. It's payback time now. Darn you. Don't you escape now. The fight scene breaks out. Alibaba and his wife somehow beat up the bad guys. And then the movie abruptly ends. It's one of the most sudden conclusions I've ever seen. Get out of here with your bangs and don't you dare Zaytun. show up here again, ever. Zaytun. Get out. Oh, Zaytun. It almost seems like the people who were making the movie said, fuck it, we're done. And honestly, I don't blame them. If anything, they did the audience a favor. I'm confused. All right, let's go over my five points. The story, trash. The voice acting, trash. The dialogue, trash. The editing, trash. And the animation, trash. Yep, it's all trash. I'm the trash man. There's absolutely nothing redeeming about this film. Not a single thing. When I watch bad movies and shows, I try to find the silver lining. Maybe where they lacked with their animation, they had a somewhat average story or dialogue with their characters. Just something that makes it not complete shit. But I can't find anything here. Guys, I didn't think it was possible, but Trollland is better than Alibaba. This film is so bad that I have to ask myself if it even qualifies as a movie. Like, where's the cutoff? This movie had a director, producers, a production team, a distributor, so I guess it counts? Ugh, God, I just never realized how low the bar actually was. Cause when it comes to being terrible, Alibaba sets the new record. What do you think of that? All right, so how could they improve the movie? Easy, don't make it. And that's not a joke. Again, there's nothing worth saving here. It's beyond repair, and you're better off watching Disney's Aladdin, or The Thief and the Cobbler. So yeah, it looks like we hit rock bottom here. Going into the Goodwill, I was expecting to find some pretty weird and terrible stuff. But man, did we find some garbage fast. That being said, I plan on going back and seeing what else I can stumble across. I got a good feeling that there are still some hidden gems. But for Alibaba, well, it was below dirt, and that's where it belongs. Never thought I'd find something worse than Trollland, but here it is, and there it goes. Fuck you, Alibaba. This is where you belong, in the ground. It's invincible. Oh my god, it's too strong. There we go. Womp womp.